Channel 3 Early Warning Weather. All right, fortunately, the weather cooperated, getting to and from your polling location today. However, the upcoming weekend, at least as we head into it, the weather not so cooperative. In fact, looking for a high impact event, specifically later Friday into early Saturday. This is the window of time where we could see an inch or two of rain with perhaps even higher amounts, and that could lead to some poor drainage flooding concerns. Also, winds that could gust to over 50 miles an hour that could lead to some isolated power outages. So an early warning that uh, as we head Friday, Friday night into early Saturday, again, a high impact event for us here across southern New England as we see it now. But do keep in mind we're several days out. We're going to keep you updated as new information comes in uh, as this has a connection, of course, to currently what is known as Tropical Storm Nicole forecast to make uh, landfall uh, strengthening to hurricane status before doing so in Florida, then eventually that moisture working up in our direction. But in the meantime, we've got a clear sky, uh, 52 degrees in our capital city and north wind at 10 clear as well. Looking live from New Haven, that's the case really not only statewide, but region wide 52 our live eye cam view from New London there as well. So we've got temperatures that are slowly going from the 50s into the 40s, 40s already Waterbury, Torrington, Salisbury, also Putnam and Willimantic. As we make our way farther past sunset and the wind diminishes a bit more, it's going to allow those temperatures to drop to uh, just downright chilly levels. Uh, so those winds not going entirely calm tonight, but that wind direction, of course, filtering for the time being some really dry air into the state. As we head uh, later Friday into early Saturday, you can see on the dew point trend a big spike, and that has to do with that influx of moisture uh, from the remnants of Nicole working up in our direction. So so for tonight, forecasting temperatures to bottom out from the mid 20s uh, to near freezing across inland portions of the state. Of course, coldest northwest, northeast Connecticut and the hill towns uh, between 30 and 35 along the shoreline. So uh, for tomorrow afternoon, another day feeling like it should for the middle part of November, uh, low and mid 50s across the state. So again, all eyes are on Nicole. It is forecast to strengthen and become a hurricane again as it approaches Florida, uh, making landfall uh, Wednesday night into Thursday, crossing the Florida Peninsula, and then that remnant moisture heads up in our direction, getting picked up by a cold front off to our west. Initially, we are going to trend milder after tomorrow back in the 60s for Thursday and Friday Then behind that front that's going to move through this weekend. We trend to even chillier levels. So this is one model's take on how much rain could fall and do again. Keep in mind, we're several days out. We're going to see many more model runs come in. So we expect the axis of heavy rain to move around a bit. This particular run, the European showing it across southeastern Connecticut. Meanwhile, the American, the GFS model showing it to the northwest of I-84. So again, uh, lots of things still need to come into better focus. Uh, and we'll keep you updated as we move forward in time. Another aspect of the storm, of course, the winds will get stronger Friday evening, Friday night. It's Friday night into early Saturday morning that they'll be peaking. We could get some gusts, perhaps even over 50 miles an hour, and then they'll switch direction by later Friday, beginning to filter that cooler, drier air into the state. So again, in the near term, we're going to see dry and bright weather with a bit of an uptick in temperature back in the mid 60s on Thursday, perhaps even warmer weather on Friday, despite the increase in cloudiness. Again, just downright windy Friday night into early Saturday. We've got the alert on the seven day forecast and then by Sunday behind this frontal system, uh, looking for temperatures to only top out of the upper 40s. We will struggle to reach 50 and even cooler weather, chillier weather on tap for Monday and Tuesday of next week. Shoreline high 66 on Saturday, 15 degrees cooler or so by Sunday afternoon. All right.